Hiya. My name's David. I'm the Wandering Ponderer. I'm back at Mark's Hall. I'm here by the walled garden. And I will put the World War II plan up because I have spied several air raid shelters. I've got one here and if I zoom in that's the box that sits on the back that's one and if we go straight ahead straight ahead there you see that tree and then that little white reflection there will zoom through just on the back that's another air raid shelter. The hidden relics. I don't think there's any way in to, the, uh, to this one. Oh, no, I can see. Hold on. This is another air raid shelter. There's no sign of bats in here, so we're a bit lucky. But needless to say, we won't go in. But not far, right next to it, right opposite the wall, the wall's behind me this way, there is signs of another one amazing and we've still we've still got that one But around here, once you once you get an eye for the vegetation and how it lays, you get to see. Now I don't know where the entrance to that one is and whether the entrance is still accessible. But I would assume by the, the pattern of the vegetation that uh, one end of that is there. I won't venture any further. Now on the new plan that I've got there is another site in this area right by the wall. So these air raid shelters are part of a bigger complex. The air raid shelters themselves are more permanent than the rest of the complex was. And obviously you've got uh, some buildings here which do come up on the map. And the map is very good, the plan I'm talking about is very good at giving you the, uh, the way the, the air raid shelters lie. Which in this case lies along in that direction. Right, this is an overhead view of the walled garden. As you get a good image of where we are, I'll put a red arrow up and in close up where that red arrow is. Now, that's where we are. That's where that air raid shelter is. Overlaying the plan, 
you can actually see that the air raid shelter is not on this plan. And if I show an aerial photograph from the wall, a marked in yellow where all the air raid shelters are, overlay the plan, you can only see two air raid shelters on the plan and the one marked A and marked B are not there. A we are looking at now, B we've seen in a previous video, but A is the one that concerns us at this point. It's not on the plan. Go round this way. And see if I can see the, uh, the other end of it. Which... You've got the box on the end just there. runs along here so presumably either it's a side entrance this side or the other side there's too many brambles in there to even think about venturing in but it's good to know so we've got one two got three air raid shelters in this section so this is another another tick on the plans of piecing it all together, World War II at Mark's Hall. Now in, in here, if we go this way, we've been this way before looking for various different things, but having not having noticed the air raid shelter on the corner, so I just want to go this way and see whether or not there's any other indications of the site that was here. <coughs> I'm coughing now because I can smell that eucalyptus. Take deep breaths, I think. Let that clear your chest. There we are, there's the monkey puzzle tree. And there's another monkey puzzle tree. And there are some trolls. Trolls. They come alive at night when no one's around and move. And the gardener comes back in the morning and says, I'm sure that wasn't there before. I'm sure that was over there. But have a look at the pine tree. This pine tree is loaded with pine nut, pine cones. Literally loaded. I'll have to look to see whether that tree is on the, uh, the masting list, the list of trees that mast. I'm not too sure. Well, already I can see a suspicious lump, but I think I've already sh filmed that one. I'm going closer. You get to see it. I think that's near the Honeywood Oak. We know there's a, an air raid shelter in there. Because there was Site 7, I think, around this area where I'm standing now. And Site 5 is over that way. Site 5. We can't come here without saying hello to the Honeywood Oak. If you want a mysterious oak tree,
You don't get better than that. The old lady. 800 years, or more than that now. The things she's seen. This resident in Kogashu. Stands behind me. There she is. I'm by the Honeywood Oak here, <laughs> right there, just the other side, get, get your bearings, over that way is uh, Gondwana land, just where my finger is there, just in front, the, the other side of that tree is an air raid shelter which I have filmed before, but I have just seen, just seen and not filmed it. In here is an air raid shelter. This gives you an idea of where we are. We're just around here. There's, there's a sign that tells you about the tree, the Honeywood Oak, and along here, and just in there and I'll zoom in and you will see it there is the box the box again it's impregnable but I will have to have a look at the plan now that I've got it and see where these are and I will put them up. It's encouraged me to try and find a way a way into this, but I don't think we're going to see one. Right, this is the uh, the other side. We're now that way is gone one land. Over there is is the Asia area with the uh, Asian dragon air raid shelter that was in the last video or the last last but one and these concrete areas so I now know that this one here is part of the same complex and I've just seen two squirrels <laughs> Looking for nuts, no doubt. But we will look in. Now there seems to be quite a trodden path here. So we'll go and investigate this with this one further. Because this is significant. A significant find. Because we have um, over in that direction is the scree screaming oak, so we're look at this. Here we are. Again, if I'd have known, I would. This is wonderful. 
and a thank you to uh, Mark's Hall for preserving these artifacts which are historical and just as significant in history as anything older. Many of us would not be alive if it were not for some of the actions taken from this place in World War II. And if we look down here, down this way is the Screaming Oak. How beautiful. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I'm going to go now and see if I can have a cake and a cup of tea and I'll see you hopefully you'll be armed with cakes and tea for another video don't forget